Welcome to the webinar. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who has joined us. Um, for some of you, it's early in the morning, like Steve, 6 a.m. in the States, and for others, it's um, early evening in WA or about 8 p.m. in New South Wales and Victoria. So thanks for taking time out of your evening. Hopefully, I can provide you with uh, a lot of value tonight and really explain the Chicken Caravan membership site. I've had a lot of questions about it because we've revamped it. Um, really, it is like a, an online university for egg farmers, so it, it has had a bit of a attention. So hopefully I can answer all your questions tonight. But before I do get right into it, I want to share a story. So, um, in the chat box there, you'll see Fiona Smith from Gyra with 2,000 hens. So um, feel free to say hello to Fiona. And um, I've known Fiona for, would have been over five years ago. Um, originally met Fiona at the first egg farm I worked at. But anyway, last year I thought I will um, drive to Armadale and pick up a car. And for those of you that don't know, I'll just put it in perspective. Um, I was there at Port Macquarie and I wanted to drive to Armadale, so it's about three hours. And um, and Fiona's up here at Gyra. And because I was trading a car in, I thought um, I'll leave nice and early. They had to swap over the wheels and the canopy or whatever. And I'll drop it off at Armadale and then borrow a car, go up to Gyra. And I was going to film on... Fiona's farm because she's got 2,000 hens and had um, plenty of hens for many years now and very good farmers. And um, anyway, I had this all planned out and this was July last year. I don't know the exact date, but anyway, all planned out. I'll leave nice and early. And then as, uh, as we're driving, um, I brought, brought dad with me. We encountered snow. Now, occasionally it snows in these areas. Now, it snows at Gyra, but uh, as we were driving out, we encountered snow. So this, these are just um, going through farmland that there's not normally much snow. And this is what I experienced last year. So I'm just showing you this because Fiona's um, on, the, on the webinar tonight and it just brought back the memories of this incredible adventure driving through areas of like paddocks that are just like covered in snow and and because I was driving I didn't uh, take that many pictures um, but there was other areas which were a lot lot thicker and there you go you can barely even read my number plate because uh, we've been going through snow so that was heaps fun and then by the time I did get to Armadale um, the highway was blocked so I had all my film gear I was ready to film on Fiona and Derek's farm and it sort of didn't happen. And then right in the afternoon when they opened up the road, we went up for a cup of tea and turned around and came home. So um, there was some cold weather for us last year. So um, that's how I know Fiona. Hope you enjoyed that story. Um, for me, I don't normally see snow that close to home. Um, maybe if you're in um, Ohio in America, that's um, not that exciting. But anyway... Um, that was my adventure last year. Um, I'll get on with the webinar, Chicken Caravan membership area. Um, before I start, I do need to cover this. What, what I'm covering here, it, it, it is general information. Um, before making any financial or investment decisions, I recommend you consult a financial planner. Uh, who can take into account your personal situation. And the information I'm giving, it's it's not legal advice, it's just general advice. So um, I'm Daniel O'Brien. I am a real person um, and I will we'll be presenting to you. In this webinar, I'm not going to go through my, uh, my whole story of how I um, started in egg farming and sort of where we are today. A lot of you already know it. Um, but I'm more, I more just want to go through the membership website and really add some value to people and answer some questions around that. So can everyone still hear me all right? I just uh, both said it's frozen and lost audio. I don't know if that's my end or your end. So um, can you just let me know if you can still 
um, see the screen and uh, hear me loud and clear. Yep, okay, no worries. Okay, what is the Chicken Caravan membership site? Now, some of you may know, some of you may not. So I wanted to go through and answer a whole bunch of questions tonight um, of what the Chicken Caravan membership site is. The Chicken Caravan membership site is a paid online community forum. The forum has training to help you start, build and grow a successful pastured free range egg farm. So a bit of the history behind um, the membership site, um, uh, as it said in an email when you registered for this webinar, my son's almost two years of age um, next month and my daughter is eight weeks old last Sunday. So before that, um, my wife Jody and I, we traveled Australia. I don't know how many farms we used to see yields. It was probably 30 to 40, maybe, maybe not that many. I'm not sure. But Jody said um, two thirds of the time we were on the road. I didn't really measure it. I think we just enjoyed ourselves. But after starting a family, that stopped pretty quick. So um, I thoroughly enjoy consulting and just being out on farms and just helping people sort of add um, a free range egg farm um, business to their current farming operation. But with a young family, it sort of stopped me and I didn't want to just be um, on the road traveling as much as I was. So um, the, the original membership site started about two years ago where I just did training videos of the things I knew about uh, marketing eggs or raising pullets and um, a whole bunch of content. And um, I, I created a website, there was a few videos in there and you could log in, watch them and that. Since then, it's grown to a whole um, much larger online university. So uh, hopefully I can share the details with you. So some of the questions I'll be um, um, answering tonight are these. And if you've got any questions, please um, put them in the, in, in the chat, chat room, um, the, the chat box. I think it's over on uh, your right. Uh, what I'll do, um, if you just um, continue to um, put questions in there, um, at the end, I'll go through them all. So feel free to continually um, add any questions in and I'll try and go through them all um, right at the end of the webinar and answer all, all your questions. Um, so some of the things uh, I will be covering, like uh, really answering in, in this, this webinar is, how can the membership site help me? Um, do I need to own a chicken caravan to be part of the site? That is a question I've been asked. Um, does it have access to experts or is it just pre-recorded trainings like you get on like YouTube or Google or something? What if I've never owned chickens? Is the training too advanced? Um, I already have an established chicken farm. Would it help me? I'm confident about farming, but unsure about selling all the eggs. Does it cover marketing? That uh, last one is very popular. We've had uh, quite a few people um, ask that. And the other one, which I need to, need to cover as well, um, is, is just the pace. Like, can someone go through it at their own pace? Um, and, but I'll, I'll cover that throughout the, the webinar tonight. So how can it help me? So it, it is a good question. Um, so it, it is an online forum. The main thing, there's, there's three things that come straight to mind and I'll cut and I'll be answering this question throughout tonight's presentation, but access to a community of like-minded sustainable egg farmers. Um, that um, in and of itself is extremely valuable um, be, because sustainable egg farmers there's not like 120 of them in every town and you can't just go down to the local bar and pub and just chat to a whole bunch of people that have done this before um, there's not heaps worldwide 
So to be able to create a community and share and swap ideas is just really invaluable. And I'll show you some real life examples examples of that um, experts to answer your questions it is a um, a forum that i am in there i'm active in there my team's in there and some of the best farmers in australia of pastured egg farmers are in there and they answer questions and swap ideas the third one um, it's got training so you can avoid mistakes if you like I remember when I first started, and I'm sure Fiona could probably tell some stories as well, the mistakes you made and you go, oh my goodness, if only I'd known, I wouldn't have made that mistake and that just didn't cost me $1,000 or $1,200 or $2,000 of things you didn't know. Like I remember a particular farm I worked with um, and I was talk and they were showing me their egg cart and I'm like, oh, this is great. And, uh, and I said, oh, how much do you, do you pay for an egg carton? And they go, oh, like 65 cents. And, and my face just dropped. I'm like, what? And they're like, what is that? Like cheap? Is that expensive? I'm like, that's really expensive. And I'm like, call this guy. And just that one thing, they got egg cartons for I think less than half price, whatever it was. I think it was over 60 cents. But just because... Um, I'd already worked with this supplier and I'd put other farmers onto it. It was just knowledge and just me swapping that knowledge improved their bottom line straight away. So it meant for every dozen eggs they sold, they had an extra 30 cents profit on it just by changing supplies. So the, in there is training so you can avoid making mistakes and some of them um, can be more expensive than others. Um, to give you an example, this is just today in the forum. Um, so someone said that there was a whole bunch of other uh, other things they asked asked in there. Um, but they said, our young ladies, the hens arrived three weeks ago. They've started to lay about 20 eggs a day, but they are all under the caravan. I hope they find the nesting boxes soon. Any hints on how we can encourage them? Now, one of our members, um, Marnie Ellis from Gippsland Free Range Eggs, she's pretty well... Um, put three or four paragraphs in there to say this is what you do and the first thing it starts with from four years experience with chicken caravans which equates to approximately 14 times with new hens in sheds we have a solution so just that there this was someone today that they got answers to their questions so that, that's an example of expert advice right there and and people swapping ideas do I need to own a chicken caravan to be part of the site? The answer to that is no. This um, is not open to just people that own a chicken caravan. It's open to everyone. And I've put there, we have members from countries that I can't even pronounce. And that's no joke. There's countries, I think it's somewhere in South America. And I saw they said that we're from this country. Um, I can't pronounce it. So I'm not even going to try. Um, we have people in this community from all over the world, so it's not just an Australian community. Um, there's people on this webinar um, from the US. We have um, members from the US that, that they talk more about sort of snow load and some of the winter conditions. So, And there's parts of the forum where you can interact with people more closer to home. So definitely not. You don't need to buy a chicken caravan just to be part of the members area. Does it have access to experts or is it just pre-recorded training like you'd find on YouTube or Google? Uh, it is a good question. If you go to Google or YouTube, there's a lot of information already out there. A lot of it can be very time consuming. There can be good information, but there can be a lot of bad information. And I've seen this on YouTube where you've got someone, they, they make a video and you don't realize they've only been at this for three or four weeks and they've got really, really bad advice. Uh, I actually listened to a podcast of someone talking about chicken farming and it was quite interesting. I'm like, I don't think those concepts would work. And then right at the end, they'll say, oh, I've only got 30 chickens. And I thought they were talking about a couple of hundred. So there is information out there, may not be relevant and sometimes very time consuming. So in, in this forum there is access to myself um, my team and other e experts and it really is interactive it's not a case where you just press play or read through a document or, or just buy a book um, you can 
ask questions and people ask questions every day in there. So for example, this is a real life example. This was uh, 20th of April, um, like just this year. So this is all relevant. Um, what, what chook feed to choose? So there's a lot of detail in there, but basically um, their, their chook feed, feed change and as you can see underlined in red, we are now concerned as our hens are nearly 30 weeks and we only have 20% of them laying. Now, pretty quickly, I could jump in there and um, give my advice on it. And um, another member, Lou Mitzi, um, he's an active member in the, in the site, um, actually gave the details of who to call and the company and, and the 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 number of the the, the feed um, the, the chook feed to choose like the serial number and this was literally just yesterday they've come back and said our egg production tripled in two weeks after putting them on this feed so these are the sort of mistakes where um, by having the right answers and access to the right people you can save a lot of money if you do the maths if you if you've got hens that are 30 weeks of age and only doing 20 percent egg production you're not going to be very profitable uh, but this particular farmer they got the right answers they got it fast their egg production's already tripled what if i've never owned chickens is the training too advanced um no this is um a, a bit of, this is what it looks like inside the the members area and um, you can really go through the training at your own pace. We've helped quite a few farms that have actually never had chickens before and they've now got 900 or 1,500 hens. Um, it, it's not like um, some university courses where you've got semester one, semester two, and like you've got to get all the results back in before, like get all your assignments back in. You can go through the information at your own pace. Um, so th there's information on marketing and then general hen management um, and the most valuable uh, content in here is the general forum where you can jump up and say hey I'm looking at doing this that or the other what do people think like what have been people's experiences so if you've never owned chickens before there's plenty of details in there to build your business plan um, how to look at your figures, see your profitability before you start through um, a spreadsheet that I've done other training on, um, right through to more advanced things. Um, this was another question I got asked. Oh, um, I've had some people, I've already got an established chicken farm. Would it help me? Absolutely. Um, the, the main thing, uh, there's, there's three things that can't come to mind that I've put down there. Firstly, the community, like as I've showed you those, those examples, in, in any business, you don't know what you don't know. So the community, you could have an egg farm, you could have it for three, four, five years, and you'll see things come up in the forum which, are, which you have not yet thought of. And I'll show you an example about that in about five minutes uh, to do with roosters and we've got um, what I'd call veteran farmers and they've been uh, pastured egg farming for a long time and they'd never ever heard about this or something that I'd never heard of of how to use roosters um, in your flock um, to protect your hens um, marketing training so if you've already got an established chicken farm some of the marketing in there will talk about how you can uh, um, market your eggs more effectively, um, how you can increase pro productivity. And the last one, system improvements training. I do have some, um, some formulas in that where I talk about after your farm is established, how can you really build your systems so you can um, really improve them? And I wouldn't say, well, I would say there's probably no business in Australia or America that couldn't improve some system or procedure just a little bit that could help you make more money because ultimately if you're not profitable you're not sustainable so absolutely if you've got an established chicken farm myself and the experts were in there to help you also uh, this this was a common question i'm confident with farming 
but unsure about selling all the eggs. Does it cover marketing? Yes, it does. I do have a background in marketing, so there's a whole chapter in that. Um, so some of the things is um, in order there, pastured egg farming trends. That's a webinar I did talking about the trends that I see in egg farming. Um, creating your egg carton label, marketing your eggs to retail stores, selling your eggs to an agent, good or bad, how to film using your iPhone, YouTube marketing, Facebook for your farm, your farm website. Um, that's just some of them. I do have a few more trainings um, that I will be presenting over the next few months, but it really does talk about selling eggs. I would go as far to say we don't have a customer at the moment that has any trouble selling eggs. Like it's just it's just non-existent. Um, if they do, I don't know about it. And if I did know about it, I'd be helping them pretty fast. Um, selling eggs when you do it the right way, it's easy, and um, yeah, it works well. And then you'll find you can't keep up with demand. So absolutely, it does cover marketing. So some of the things that the members area includes, so I'll go through um, a lot of the training is video training um, and I'll try and keep the videos sort of um, sort of short and sweet. I try and take the fluff out of it, um, even the webinar replay. Some of the webinars are sort of only sort of 18 or 19 minutes. So I really want to get um, get to the point. So some of the, the training videos are getting rid of old hens, um, so obviously you can't buy hens now and 10 years later you've still got the same hens. You need to turn them over. And how you go about that process, um, there's a full training on that. Day-old chicks versus point-of-lay pullets. Uh, this is something that's um, very relevant to Australian farmers because we have the option of, of getting uh, chicks from day-old or buying them ready to lay. Um, in the US, your option is more likely to going to be day-old chicks so they can sort of grow up in your environment. And the other thing, there's not too many supplies in America that will grow chickens out to point of lay that you can buy from. Um, your website, I just showed you this earlier. Um, um, in the marketing training, um, but how to build your website and what you want on there, what's important to have on your website. So I do a full training video on that. YouTube marketing, this can be an absolute um, phenomenal free marketing channel and I think every farm should be using it. Should I sell to my eggs to an agent, good or bad? That training is just five minutes, five and a half minutes long, very, very valuable. If I'd seen that training when I first started, um, I'd probably have an extra at least $1,000 in my pocket be, because I, um, I sold to people I shouldn't have and I didn't know about um, some big store retailers versus small small retailers. But in that training, it really covers uh, who to sell to and how to approach them. Leasing land, if you don't have a farm, great, watch that. That can save you a lot of money. It could save you a million dollars. Um, leasing land, uh, the, the two sides of this, if you don't have a farm, you can go out and lease land and I, I, I talk about that. The other thing, if you do have land, um, you can attract people um, to, to farm on your land. You may have unused land. So I touch on that a little bit in that training. Creating an egg business worth selling. Um, this it, this training, it may not be the most popular one because when you're first starting, you're not going, I want to sell this business. But it's very, um, very vital to think about because one day you may want to sell this farm. Now, who knows, 100 years from now, you may pass it to your kids that passes to the to, the, to their kids. A lot of businesses, especially small businesses, when it comes to the end when you no longer want to own that business, business, a lot of them just shut their doors. An egg business is a saleable business. It is different to, say, a beef operation where if you want to stop breeding beef cows, if you don't really have a brand, you just got to sell off your, your breeders and it's all over. An egg business done right that has a brand and a customer base, it can be sold. And we've got examples of that 
where people have built up their egg business, they've either retired or situations have changed and they've sold it with their brand, with their sheds, chickens, established markets, um, and they've sold it for good money. So it, it is a valuable training and I think everyone could get a lot out of that one. Guardian animals, how should I guard my chickens? Should I use a dog, alpacas? What should I use? That's in there. Getting rid of old hens, I've covered that one. Getting new hens, how to start them right. Uh, there's a training in that and there's actually a, a bit of a discussion in the forum at the moment that I showed you before to stop your hens from laying underneath, what to do there. Facebook it is a very, very um, powerful platform. In most cases, it's free. Uh, I talk about how you can uh, use that. Plus, you also get access to the spreadsheet. Um, some of you might not have seen this, but basically this anything in the yellow box uh, it, it is a column that you can change the price of. They're pretty well all your input costs, so your capital cost, your feed cost, your cartons, your birds, everything right down to how long does it take you to care for the birds. You can put all that in there in your hourly rate and before you've even bought a chicken, you can see your profitability. So you might go, oh, hang on, I'm not going to be profitable if I only have 10 chickens. What if I have 100? And you can play around with that a bit. Um, yeah, very, very valuable um, spreadsheet and there's a full training on that inside and you can download that spreadsheet and use it yourself plus you get uh, forum access to myself my team and other members so it really is a community it's not like just buying a book from the bookshop and you go learn it um, you, you get access to us so this is um, inside the the members area um, so you can see um, there's a general forum in the training, you've got marketing, general management, you've got some live recordings, webinar replays. I've also got some um, bonus training in there. This is inside the general discussion. So this is some of the things, um, some of them are as new as um, Tuesday, I think it says there. So guardian animals for flock protection. So um, we've got, got a discussion on that. Legal matters for chicken caravan owners. Uh, Cameron's talking about that, I think, with, with councils and such. Roosters in the flock, that's been quite popular. Uh, fence voltage troubleshooting. So if you're setting up electric fences and uh, you're just not quite getting the current, we've got a few answers in there. When your hen stop laying, Holly asked a question there. Marema pup wanted. Um, so Kim's asking, has anyone got a Marema pup? This is the value of the forum. So if someone does have a pup, they can go, yep, I've got it. So you've got access to all these other farmers. Fox lights worth it, chook feed, hatchery times, marketing link, um, Marema dogs or alpacas, uh, storage of eggs, um, and more. There's, there's a few more there. This is the most powerful part of the of the forum is you can write your reply. If it was just a case of a whole bunch of information, you might as well go to the bookshop, just buy one book and just highlight the points. But if anything uh, in there you go, hey, what do they mean there? Or can you expand on that a bit more? You can just ask your question or write your response. So it really is interactive. I wanted to show you um, an example, and I'll just see if I can pull it up here, about, um, about roosters in the flock, because I, I, was, I was telling you that we were going to share that. So here it is here. I'll see if I can pull it up. Can you see that one? Okay, so this is something Cameron, he's, um, he's uh, one of our, our staff members. Um, so he was delivering a caravan to a particular farm and he said, very interestingly, I saw he had two roosters in each of his flocks of 450 hens. When I questioned him, he said they're fantastic at stopping eagles. Um, they keep an eye out and warn the girls of danger. He's, um, before, 
pretty well before he had the the roosters um the birds were getting hammered by eagles like every few days put the roosters in there he hasn't lost any um so cameron he's a real numbers man he worked out not bad pay for an extra 200 grams a day in food which works out at 650 a ton like if you're paying that much to 47 dollars 45 a year in feed so a chook will probably give you about 38 bucks 38 dollars a year worth of saleable eggs depending on um, how much you're selling them for so basically um, the cost of a couple of roosters would pay for one hen um, that's so if anyone has eagle problems a um, couple of roosters in the flock just that there that was something I didn't know um, Cameron's put that up because he was delivering a caravan to this farm and we've had other people that have been in farming for a long time that have just got alpacas not marema dogs in some of their flocks they're like let's give this a go so um, yeah that's just an example of being part of the, the forum that um, just access to information of things you just wouldn't have ever thought uh, it wouldn't have been something that I would have would have thought of.